Hello, Erie. I'm, I'm glad you're joining me today. Uh, now, here's another topic that's got my knickers in knots. It's something that we as Americans must, must do something about, because it's going to bring us all down. It's the Federal Reserve. Now, with the Federal Reserve and the continued plundering of our tax dollars by Wall Street, we are headed for disaster. But it's not hard to see, is it? Just look around you. Bailouts, trillion dollar stimulus plans. You know what those amount to? Huge debt for our children. And what do we do? Hey, let's print some more money. Yeah, to cover our failed policies. Trillions of dollars were printed, and no one has any idea where they went. I didn't see any of it. How about you? Nah, not in these pockets. Now, President Obama is going to keep this going and going unless we act and make our voices heard. You and I both know that. Now, there is some good news in all this, and that is that there's a way to fight back. Now, in the last election, in one fell swoop, we sent scores of politicians packing. You know, the American people have spoken, and they said, uh, bye-bye. So what do we do now? Well, contact your congressman and tell them to audit the Fed. Wait, don't tell them. Don't just tell them. Demand that they do. I want to see it. I want it to be known how the Fed has abused its power, how it's strangling our economy and destroying the dollar. Now, I don't always agree with them, but Representative Ron Paul and Senator Jim DeMint have a plan. Take the battle to the heart of the problem. Force a 100% public audit of the Federal Reserve itself. The number of dollars that have been squandered on the economic bailouts are staggering. Now, it's, it's more than the Socialist New Deal, more than the entire Iraq War, more than the 1980s savings and loan fiasco, more than the Korean War combined. Can you imagine that? It's time that you and I put a stop to the Federal Reserve's outlandish behavior or it will never end. The last election has politicians running scared. They saw their colleagues sent packing and the survivors don't want to be the next to have their heads on the chopping block. Now, these affluent policymakers are scrambling for secure footing. Wait, what? Who says what, 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 what where, where do I go? Oh, so many of them, so many are out of touch with the realities that we, the average American person, faces every day. Ah, the new Camelot. Tell me alone. Shh. Well, the false realities that these politicians have built for themselves is staggering. Tell the people there's a problem. Tell them that they and they alone have the answer. And the people will say, oh, okay. What a charade. Instead of simply listening to the people. Now, isn't that what they were elected to do? To represent us? Don't lead us by the economic nose rings that they think we all had inserted against our will, and which they think it is their duty, wait, their right, to lead us along the path that they are fabricating before us. That's how they intend to control us. But we're not all lemmings, are we? You and I, no, we're thinking types. Now it's time for us to turn up the heat on members of Congress. They value nothing more than their positions of power. They've all got money, more than you and I will, will ever see. So what's left to gain? Power. Tell them that their asses are on the line if they don't do what we want them to do. It is our right as citizens of this great country, as taxpayers. Audit the Fed. If we don't do anything, it's gonna mean the economic ruin for every average American. Don't turn a blind eye to this. We can't afford to do that, literally can't afford it, or at least we won't be able to afford it. $13 trillion. Think about it. $13 trillion in taxpayer money, yours, mine, going for bailouts and loans as has been agreed to by Congress and the Obama Treasury Department, and of course the out of control Fed. Economic disaster is where we're headed, thanks to the wonderful, all-knowing, all-caring Washington, D.C. establishment. You know, people across America are starting to realize this, and it's just the start. We need to reclaim what is ours, and that which is ours is this country. Now, I don't know about you, but phony stimulus packages get rammed down our throats. Congress passes a $700 billion bank bailout under threat of martial law? Where do we live again? The American people are becoming increasingly agitated and increasingly angry. 
You and I both know the Federal Reserve is shrouded in secrecy. Their meetings are off limits to the public. Their inner workings are off limits to the public. And as you may have heard, or more than likely haven't, thanks to the mainstream media, the Federal Reserve plans to purchase $600 billion in government bonds to pump even more stimulus into the economy. $600 billion in money that does not exist to buy bonds for spending we cannot afford. It's more vital than ever that we know what they're up to and who they are funneling that money to. The American public is fed up, and rightfully so. Audit the Fed. It's up to you and me to hold the politicians accountable. They know we're catching on. In fact, 39 opponents of the Audit the Fed were defeated last November. We've got to be ready. We've got to have everyone exposed in this massive corruption and dollar manipulation. Now, what's going to happen in the next election? After you and I tell the American people their congressmen ignored their demands for accountability for the Fed ruining our economy? More of the same? No, no, no. Just more of what they deserve. Now, it's time to climb aboard my arc, Erie. It's only going to get deeper. <laughs>